Jesus Christ, man, myth or God? Who is this glorious figure sat on the throne in heaven? Is he similar to Melchizedek? Was Jesus involved in the creation of the world? Is there any numerical meaning in Jesus Christ rising up after three days on the cross? How did he become the Passover lamb? Stay tuned to find out. If you enjoy these videos, do subscribe to the Emerald Throne channel and turn notifications on for more uploads. Let's get into it. Let's look at the creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The translation of God in Hebrew in this context is El Elohim, which is plural and means the living God. This includes God the Father, God the Son, who is Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. The Father speaks and the Son performs through the power of the Spirit. The three are distinct yet are one. There is only one God. This is one of the greatest mysteries of the Bible. The creative word is Jesus. If we refer to John 1 verse 1 and 2, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God and the Word was God. Through Him all things were made. Jesus was present before the creation of time and was self-existent. John 1.14 says, The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. Jesus was born as a man in a supernatural way, conceived by a virgin through the Holy Spirit. Philippians 2 verse 6 and 7 says, Who being in the very nature God, emptied himself to take the form of a servant made in human likeness and humbled himself to death on a cross. His death on the cross was for our redemption. Do check out the Mystery of the Cross video to learn more about this and what Jesus said on the cross. The Son of God is the vision that John saw in Revelation. Revelation 4 verse 3 says, There before me was a throne in heaven with someone sat on it, had an appearance of jasper and ruby, and a rainbow like an emerald circled the throne. This image is larger than our minds to comprehend it. Jesus, the Son of God, is sat on the throne in heavenly glory. And this verse is the basis for our channel and logo, the Emerald Throne. John 1.18 says, No one has seen God, but the one and only Son, who is himself God, has made him known. If we can understand who Jesus is, He is the visible image of God the Father. He gives us access to the Heavenly Father for all our needs. Colossians 1 verse 26 and 27 says, The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations is now known to the Lord's people, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. By believing in the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross, we are made alive in the Spirit. God resides in us, which gives us hope and a purpose. When we have faith in His work on the cross, the supernatural power of God flows through us. Now, who is Melchizedek? He was a figure in the Old Testament whose name translates to King of Righteousness. He is a mysterious figure in the Bible who is known to have met Abraham and blessed him. Hebrews 7 verse 3 says, He is without father or mother or genealogy, neither has beginning of days or end of life, but resembles the Son of God. We understand that the Old Testament is a foreshadow of Jesus Christ who was to come in the appointed time. Jesus Christ was designated by God as the eternal High Priest 
in the order of Melchizedek. Now let's look at Jesus Christ being the Passover lamb. Passover is the Jewish festival that commemorates the exodus of Jews from Egypt. God told Moses that the Passover lamb had to be kept for each household separately for four days before slaughtering. The time from Adam to Christ was 4,000 years. 2 Peter 3 verse 8 says, A thousand years is like a day with the Lord. Jesus, the Son of God, was separated for the cross even before the creation of the world. He resurrected after three days and the foreshadow of the Passover rituals were fulfilled in Jesus Christ. There are no mistakes in the Bible. Jesus died for our sins on the cross so that we didn't need to die an eternal death. And by believing in him, we are a new creation. Jesus Christ lived on earth for 33 years before taking up the cross. He performed many miracles and preached to the masses. But only a few understood who he was. In Matthew 16, verse 13 to 17, Jesus asks his disciples, Who do you say the Son of Man is? Simon Peter replies, You are Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus says to him, Flesh and blood did not reveal this to you, but my Father in heaven. We have to recognize that the deep mysteries of God are hidden unless God reveals it to you. We grow by hearing the word of God and that's how faith increases. In John 20 verse 29, Jesus mentions of a time when blessed are they that have not seen me and yet have believed. That time is now. We can access the supernatural by believing in the name of Jesus Christ. For Romans 8 verse 1 says, There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. His divine power has given us all things pertaining to life and godliness through the knowledge of Him. This is the knowledge of who the Son of God is. He is God the Creator who calls things into existence as though they already were. Thanks for listening and do put your thoughts in the comment section below. Stay blessed.